So a few years ago, I went, I went through something that was very tough, a struggle. Everything felt meaningless and hopeless, and it felt like there was nothing. Everything was being purged from within me. So it was a very tough time psychologically. But I kind of speak about it lightly because I've been meditating for well over a decade, so I was able to watch myself in that time. And when I say watch myself, I mean I was able to watch my mind and look at the stories my mind told me during this time. And coming out of that struggle, that tough time has made me even stronger in the sense that I trust myself. I trust that I can get through those times. I can watch myself. I can be the awareness, the awareness behind my thoughts. And everyone has that within them. Do you have that? You can watch your mind. You can watch your life. You can enjoy your life. And since then, I realized that we are really here to watch our lives. We are the passengers here to enjoy and to see what life brings and to see how our body responds, because it's in our body that our navigational system is, you could say. And the mind is really here to do its thing when it's researching and comparing and sharing like I'm doing now. So how did I get through that tough time then, more specifically? Well, it's not like it wasn't tough. It's not like it wasn't a struggle, because it was. I still felt everything, all of those feelings, when my mind told me, oh, you'll never get out of this, you, you'll never succeed or be, become anything, I still felt all that, and it didn't feel good, I didn't have the energy to, to do anything, but at the same time, I didn't do anything crazy, because I was able to watch my mind, I knew the shenanigans of my mind, and it's for you as well to start becoming aware of what kind of story your mind is telling you? What's the narrative going on there? Is it a I'm not good enough story? Or I'll never amount to anything? I'm not, I, don't, I don't have any connections or skills. Whatever it is, start noticing the patterns of your mind because there is a pattern. And the more familiar you become with your mind, the less it can fool you or pull the veil over your eyes, so to speak. And it's when, when times are the toughest, that's when you have the greatest opportunity to go within. It's kind of like life is telling you to look inside, to stop looking to the external for validation and success and all that. And it's time to go inside. Because we all have these cycles in our lives where we have growth, we have creativity and everything is going fine. But then we have destruction, restriction and depression even, where life is telling us to go inside. It's time to look at what needs to be let go of and what's really going on inside you. What are you valuing and what are you attached to that can be let go of? And it's through, it's through these tough times that I've grown the most. It's incredibly, it was a struggle and but it turned out to be a blessing in disguise. It's all about, for me, learning how to lightheartedly go through those struggles. And the less I resist whatever I'm feeling, the easier the ride is. It's still maybe a struggle, but it's a less bumpy ride. And it's more me watching what's going on. And going through that has helped me deal with what came after that, because I had a year of not wanting to do anything, didn't have the energy. And I was taking care of myself, I was exercising and eating well, meditating and doing all that. But it simply I did not have the energy to do anything, so I didn't force anything. I knew that something would come along, and something came along, and the energy emerged when that cycle ended in my life. So in tough times, what I do is, I observe my mind, notice the narrative, and I do my best to embrace everything that's going on within me. All the feelings, 
all the emotions, and even the story my mind tells. I try to embrace everything. And sometimes I can't do that, and I embrace even that. I embrace that I'm not perfect, I make mistakes, that I'm not feeling amazing. Because we're not here to always feel amazing, we're here to embrace all of the emotions. So tough times are interesting because tough times mold you into something else. They help you grow and go deeper into yourself. So don't hide from all that. Instead, dive deep into yourself and see what's going on. And realize that there's nothing to run away from when it comes to your emotions or thoughts. Because you are the awareness that can, be, that can notice them and can embrace them. And once you embrace them and welcome, they start dissipating because then you let go of them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, visit my website for more information on how to work with me privately, articles and all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next video.